This is the Faber Castell fountain pen. This particular model is the the full name, and this is a really long name, is the Von Graf Faber Castell Intuition Platino Grenadilla pen. This is a fountain pen. This is a really large fountain pen. Um, it's uh, it's one of their top of the line pens um, from their standard collection, and uh, it is a brilliant, brilliant pen. Uh, Faber Castell has been making pens for a very long time. Um, I think their company traces back probably to uh, the 1700s. So they've been in the business of making pencils and pens for a very long time. And this pen is just a beautiful, beautiful pen. And so I wanted to um, basically just do my first pen review because I like pens. My dad got me into them a long time ago and I'm particularly fond of fountain pens. I like the um, just sort of the, the way that they lay ink on paper and I like the ritual of filling them up and getting to choose the colors. And so this pen um, is a fountain pen. And so the pen costs about, I think it's about $890 US dollars. And it puts it on, on the high end of fountain pens, but the quality is just amazing. So you have this, um, this sort of chrome section of the pen here where it's metal and then you have this section which is wood and then you have another uh, chrome section at the end i don't know enough about fountain pens to know the names for all these various parts but um i'll do the best i can to review what i think about the pen because frankly there weren't really very many high quality videos on youtube on this pen so let me um take the cap off so you can see what it looks like so this is the nib um and you can see it's a little bit dirty because i've already got ink in it and you can see um, there's the feed on the back. It's really a beautiful pen. And then on the back here, you've got this little knurled back part, and then you've got the Faber Castell um, uh, crown on the back. I apologize, my hands are a little dirty. Um, I was doing some work, so my fingernails look bad. Um, this pen is an interesting filler. Um, it's a converter filler pen. Um, it's really cool how you access the converter. So what you do is I'm doing this with one hand because I'm using my other hand to hold my camera. So bear with me. But what you do is you screw this back piece. So you unscrew here. And by doing that, what you're doing is you're loosening the front. And so if you watch, you'll see that the front is sort of coming out now. And so what you're doing is you are releasing the inner mechanism on this pen, and then you get to the point where it's all the way loose, where you can actually pull it out. You'll see it's coming out now. And there is the um, inside of the pen. And you can see it's just a standard Faber Castell converter. And you've got this metal part here that has this lug, this grooved lug at the end, which captures this whole piece so it doesn't spin. And then you're able to tighten down these threads. The threads, the threading on this is just very silky smooth. The whole pen is just ridiculously high crafted. Apparently these are um, handmade and uh, it just really shows. It's, a, it's just a beautiful craftsmanship on the pen. And um, it's interesting too, when you take a look at the barrel, you can see that the barrel I can get a good focus on this, is actually lined on the inside. So it's got like this, um, you know, this wood outside, and then on the inside, it's got like a metal tube um, in there. And then you can see where the, the sort of ribs are that would capture the, um, the pen as you stick it back in. And so I'll do that now. So to put it back in, you just stick it all the way in. And again, you want to line up this, these, these rib sections here, seat them flush. And now what you do is you just twist back here. And as you twist this part, the front of the pen is, is uh, seated and that's it. And it, it's a really smooth mechanism. And once it's seated firmly, then this no longer moves, it locks into place and your pen is in there and it's pretty, pretty solid. Um, 
this is also, uh, the cap is just pretty basic. It's, you know, got a clip on it and the clip is spring loaded. So, you know, it moves, uh, let me just stick this in the cap. So the pen um, goes in and out of the cap very nicely. It's got like just a great feel to it and a little snap at the end where it pops in. Um, the clip is spring loaded. So it's got a little bit of pull to it, easy to clip onto things. Um, it's just overall, I think, you know, the, the top of the pen feels good. The wood feels fantastic on your, on your hand. Um, and then pulling the pen out is very satisfying because it just has got a, just a nice feel to it. Um, if you can tell carefully, you can see that the wood has a little bit of a, an indentation here. And that's on purpose because that's where you're supposed to grip the pen. So um, it's, it's a little bit narrower here. It feels comfortable in hand and writing with it is just a dream. This nib is, um, I believe it's rhodium, I think is the material, or plated um, 18 karat gold, I believe, nib. Um, I could be wrong about that. Uh, I apologize. I'm not as knowledgeable as some people are in fountain pens. I just wanted to do uh, an amateur review of this. And writing with this pen is just fantastic. I mean, it just writes just really smoothly. Um, so, um, it's hard to hold the camera and write, but it does, it writes um, very nicely. Some line variation there as you push harder, get a little bit thicker line. It's a, it's a fairly wet pen. I don't really feel like pushing my fingers through the ink right now, but if you can see in the video, it's got it's a little bit on the wetter side, um, and it is just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pen. And uh, really happy to have it as part of my collection. Um, I've had it for about, I guess about a week now, and I've been using it, and I love it. So this is the Faber, the Graf von Faber-Castell Intuition Platino Grenadilla pen. And um, it's just a pretty, really cool pen. So that's my first fountain pen review, um, and I uh, hope you like it. Thanks.